In this series video of system time on local time, we have discussed about what is system time and local time, how to read it from the system means PLC, how to adjust the system time and local time indirectly to PLC, also how to adjust the time zone in CPU configuration from the project also we have set the time zone by this block okay and that if you set the time zone or set the time from the program you don't need to take your plc in stop mode and your process will not stop so it is better to use that program and this block to change your time as required okay today we'll write the local time local time and system time both are same way you can add okay now we'll adjust the local time write or set local date and time okay now this one is for the local time your local date and time tag and this one for the daylight saving option that you want to adjust daylight saving time or not you want to enable or disable okay this is boolean tag and this is the return value that in integer or what data type is integer or what format and that will show your error code okay and the local time data type is detail or ldt okay we'll define the tag in that system local time db here okay write local dt okay and we'll give the data type as dtl and then write dst daylight saving time and the data type is boolean okay third is write write here i write as wr for the write block okay and that is return tag and the tag should be integer or word format okay now i will float this data table okay drag and drop daylight saving return here okay now i will download to virtual plc it asking for reinitialize okay now monitor here you can see the here it will it is zero zero means the right uh, right um, function is still disabled it is not working okay our time is 9.34, 9.34, but here it shown it as a 19, sorry 16, it should be 19.34, here it should be 19.34 in 24 hour range, okay, but it's showing 16, means it 3 hour, 3 or 30 minute less okay we'll adjust that time okay now here i'll write the value that 2022 dash 11 dash 11 sorry 15 date is 15 and dash 19 19 is our up to this is our date and from here it will start the time so our time will be 
1935 means it is 935 means it is uh, 19 right it is 19 okay now I will give colon and 36 colon 0 0 okay now see our time is changed but it is not changing here time is changed but it is not counting again why because your this block sorry this block if you going to monitor here means this block always writing your last value what you have right here it always try to write your plc so it is not is start to recount your time so what you can do you can give a request there is no request input pin here so you can give here a a uh, no logic here that when you make that a no to nc means if you give that true value then here enable pin enable your block will write your time so here i will add another tag that write request and that is boolean tag boolean okay now i will add the here i will add okay now download now see the time is now counting because your block wr is now not writing your value what you have write this tag inside in this tag it will not write to plc okay your value is now going back because you have reinitialized your data block so it will take the start value what the start value you have saved here it will take from there okay now again see your hello time is now 9 38 pm means it is 19 it is 19 38 it should be 1938 so we'll write again to adjust the time you can adjust from the pcpc time but you can also write the time from here that 2022-11-15-19 colon 39 colon means it is thing it is 30 second okay now i'll give you okay now if you give here the true it will write okay so again make it zero it will start counting okay so by this way you can adjust your time without stopping your plc in next video we'll show you how we can extract the date year month hour minute in separately how can extract and how you can use where you can use that date and time in next video i'll show thank you